Hey everybody, Cody Barnett, Body Works Physical Therapy and Concussion Center, and I wanted to chat with you about today about something that we get asked about a lot, and that is how do I find a comfortable bicycle seat? And the main problem that people run into is um, they, you know, summer comes, they want to get out, ride their bike more, and they really enjoy it, but they end up stopping because their rear end hurts. And I want to keep everybody mobile and active, and so whatever we can do to help uh, help keep you riding we, we want to help you with and that is what do you want to look for when you're buying a bicycle seat and how do you find one that feels good to you so number one thing really really important best investment you'll ever make and that is a really good comfortable pair of bicycle shorts now I realize some of you may not want to do the whole bicycle spandex short thing and I get it but if you can go to your bike shop, um, find you a, a pair of shorts that's got a nice um, padded uh, cushion in the bottom of it. Um, they're also made so that the seams don't chafe you through the legs. Um, you can wear these uh, just as, as shorts themselves or underneath a regular pair of gym shorts. But in either case, number one, buy a good pair of bike shorts. Don't skimp on your bike shorts. They, they may cost you a few bucks, but they're worth every penny. Uh, number two is realize where the pressure should be when we ride on your bike. So pressure should be more on our sit bones. So for example, if you stand up, take your fingers and push around on the bottom of your rear end and then sit down, what you're going to feel, kind of wiggle around a little bit, you can feel your sit bones. And when you're on your bike, that's where the majority of the pressure should be. You might have a smidge of pressure underneath your pelvic area, but it shouldn't be much. It should be mostly on your sit bones. And if you have more pressure there, you'll be a lot more comfortable. So um, when you are out looking for a bike seat, I uh, recommend you go to your local bike shop and, um, and tell them what kind of riding that you do. Uh, do I, um, am I on a cruiser bike? I, am I on a mountain bike? You know, et cetera. And by knowing your position, uh, that will help them and then also uh, tell them or they, they should be able to um, help you figure out what your pelvis width is which um, saddles come in different widths as well so that's going to make a difference in terms of getting something that's comfortable comfortable for you based on your pelvis width um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the other side of the camera and show you some different uh, varieties of saddle and realize there's lots of options available and you might have to go through half a dozen different saddles or, or at least try half a dozen saddles in the bike shop before you find one that fits and is really good for you. And it's kind of like buying a good pair of shoes. You know, you, gotta, you wanna find the one that fits and is most comfortable. And, um, uh, and so, for example, I'm trying to um, get a new saddle set up for my road bike. And um, I have, I've gone through literally six different saddles before I found one that uh, I really, really uh, am feeling pretty confident with uh, we will see so this is the one that I've, I've currently gone to this is made by a company called Spe specialized um, it's got some padding right here in the sit bone area we've got a cutout here for the pelvis now I do use arrow bars on this a lot so that means I'm in a more aggressive forward bent position that means you got to have a little more pressure relief here through the nose for that um, and so uh, that's something to be aware of Next, we're going to go really old school. This is my old Schwinn, and I like to ride this around the neighborhood once in a while. And um, uh, relatively comfortable here, horribly uncomfortable here. Um, it's good for about a mile or two for me just to get kind of fool around the neighborhood. But if your seat looks like this, you are probably not enjoying your bike rides. Um, get something different. Next, we're going to go from there to super new school. Um, this is um, on my wife's bike. She also rides in a forward position a lot. She uses aero bars and um, good cushioning and, and padding here through the sit bones. This also has extra padding through the nose because she's in a more forward bent position. Um, next, uh, we're going to go over here. I guess you get a, to see what my garage looks like while we're on this video uh, but this shows you some different saddle uh, sizes and shapes uh, for example the one on the right 
Uh, you'll notice um, a little bit wider through the um, sit bone area, more narrow through the nose. Um, and so that's one, one version. Uh, the next two in the middle here, you notice they've got the cutouts in the middle. Um, and then um, over here, uh, this saddle, a little bit wider. Um, this has some good cushion through the nose um, and some good padding through the rear end. This is more for a more upright riding position. And then uh, this is my old saddle that I'm retiring. Um, and I'm going to flip this over so you can see it. You can see it's got the cutout and then a real cushioned area right through the, the middle there. And then the last thing I want to show you is this thing. It's made by a company called Cushion Aid. Um, I'll show you the, uh, uh, the name there in case you're interested in that. Um, this is actually um, recommended by the people that run the Race Across America, uh, which is a, a literal race across the United States. And I've not actually tried this yet. I, I just received it here in the mail a couple days ago. But the idea behind this is, is this goes on and it sticks. It's got an adhesive. This actually sticks on your saddle. Um, you can see the little holes right there, and that's for your sit bones. You actually measure your sit bones and then um, put this on the appropriate position then on your saddle, and it's meant to relieve pressure there. So that's an option um, just if you're just having trouble getting comfortable. So there you have it. Um, if you have any questions, always feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email. Um, we are at 316-558-8808. We want to keep people mobile, active, and off pain pills. Uh, website, bodyworksphysicaltherapy.net. And if you have any questions about this or anything else and related to getting comfortable on your bike, feel free to give us a shout, and uh, we'd be happy to chat with you and help you out. Um, thanks again. And until next time, we'll see you later.